to go. Aba, Aimba City, was an investor's haven. Different companies of different sizes and grades plied their trade in Aba successfully. Suddenly, insecurity became a problem, resulting in the mass exodus of businessmen from Aba to neighboring cities around Nigeria. Before 2015, it was difficult to find a fast food outlet except maybe one. Banks relocated, closed shops, people literally moved away. You know, city closed down. But the story changed from 2015 when Governor Ikbazu took over the saddle of leadership. With his key thrust on the development of the SME, Governor Ikbazu intentionally invested resources in revamping infrastructures within and around ABA. Between 2015 and now, we have systematically and gradually uh, spoken to the issues, one, of security, two, of um, infrastructure in a solid way. I like to look at things from the point of view of um, impact, action and impact. Uh, I believe that I haven't met a governor with a clear vision of where he wants to go as Dr. Prince Loki said. I've also not met a governor who articulates his position well as Dr. Loki said. I also haven't met a, a governor who is quite friendly to uh, investor uh, participation in the economic growth of our country, of our state, as Dr. Loki said. He also rebuilt the confidence of businessmen in ABA and created incentives for would-be investors. We have improved. The made in ABA shoes here now differs from the made in ABA shoes before 2015. We are now proud of what we are doing. We now level our shoes made in ABA, proudly made in ABA. Like I rightly said, we are now competing favorably with our counterparts, those in Italian. The change is Dr. Kezi Mazu. Since the exception of Abia State in 1999, he is the only government, he is the only government that came into our sector, that have us at the, his heart. He's the only government that said these people need to be encouraged. So he brought the change. He took us to the inter international community and he has been assisting us, promoting our product, both global and uh, local. Expectedly, some investors got attracted to Governor Iqbazu's ease of doing business policies. The reward I got for all of this is that business businesses started returning. Some old ones started reopening. And then I started seeing some that were never in our system. Investors won't come to your state just by begging or because you are their in-law. They have to say things. So people with the money are, 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 are looking at what we are doing. Of a particular mention is the Ayimba Mall Outlets an ambitious 21st century private partnership project, PPP, shopping mall with a state-of-the-art facility owned by Czech Best International Company Limited, a United States-based company. And I assure you that the government will continue to support projects like this going forward. This is one reason why Abia State came third in foreign direct investment in Nigeria only after Lagos and Abuja. ABA is working. Basically, the concept of the project was to develop a better shopping environment and ambience for ABA people. So I'm also very happy that the concept was adopted by the government and we had a lot of encouragement from the off-takers and today is a success story. This mall is a testament to what we've preached and what we've, what we've always emphasized, that for you to achieve Heavy economic and social infrastructures in a state, in a country, you need private capital to have a handshake with public sector capabilities. So basically, what you see here today is a reflection of that story we've always been telling. The His Excellency, the number one SMA, SMA is a governor in Nigeria, who encourages businesses. I'm not surprised that this has happened during his tenure. He did a very big role. First of all, his government policies provided environment for us to even come in. Then the arm, one of the arms of his government, the PPP, was the platform that we used to engage the government that made 
this complex in Sussex today. All these things shouldn't be left for the government alone. To do. We should all join hands and make it a better place. From afar, we heard all nonsense, all manner of rubbish, and that uh, the man is not performing, the man is not doing that. But coming into Aba, Aba is safe, Aba is secure, everybody. Aba is like the, the Guangzhou of uh, China. I see no problem here. Everybody is on the street going, on, uh, going about their businesses. People are friendly here. I mean, I came all the way from Abuja. I'm, there's no problem here in Aba. The commercial activities are to speak. People are going about their normal businesses. I saw a whole lot of massive construction work going on. It shows me that the man is not the governor that they say he is, that he's not working, he's working. And then um, he's a governor that also provides enabling environment for investors to thrive. Governor Iqbal's passionate but rigorous drive to rebuild ABBA is gathering momentum. Expectedly, the story will always be better. Project 004 Ease of doing business in Abia, the Ayimba Mall. Basically,